Between the seasonal changes and summer vacation packing, I'm rediscovering half of my wardrobe at the back of my closet, especially because I'm going to Montana. I don't even know how to dress for Montana. I found t-shirts that I've had since high school. Won't be fitting in those, but that's all right. Uh, to show me uh, some tips on how to make the most out of my closet space is professional organizer. Give it up for George Schultz, everybody. Hi, George. Okay, I'm excited about this because I think people, this is one of those things people want to do, but right. they feel overwhelmed by it. Right. Yeah, so yeah. the first thing you want to do when you're going to tackle your closet, you have to approach it with confidence. Yeah. Because it can be a daunting task. I'm going to do this. You're going to do this. So you got to be confident going in. And I will warn you, yeah. it's going to get worse before it gets better. Okay, like most things. Like okay, most yeah, things. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to show you a picture, a uh, before picture Let's of a closet. It. That's the before, right, George? Yeah. Okay. This is a client of mine. She's got a one wire shelf in her closet. The vertical space is not really being used that well. George, can... that looks pretty okay, though. I'm just like, it's okay. not bad. It it's really, not bad. It's, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. it's not bad. But she knew that she really wanted to maximize that space. You can see her shoes above, too. She loves shoes. So we really wanted to redesign her closet yeah. as well as go through everything. Okay. And I'm going to show you the after Okay, let's photo. look at it. Let's look at it. Oh. Wow, see? Much sure. better. Thank okay. you. Much, Thank you. much better. Yes. So we incorporated drawers. We wanted to showcase her shoes because that was her most favorite thing. So everyone's a little different on what they want to showcase. But now she doesn't have that laundry basket sitting on the floor. Yeah. Before she was walking in her closet going, oh, now I have laundry to do. Yeah. You know, now she sees her shoes going, hey, what pair of shoes am I going to put on today? Exactly. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So okay. if you're not ready to do a full remake, makeover, redesign of your closet, one easy, inexpensive thing that you can do is upgrade your hangers. Okay. I always try to eliminate the plastic and the store-bought hangers. Okay. Oh, I, have, oh, I know. I have a lot of these. Teeth. I have a lot of these. I admit it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, it's time to upgrade. Jason. Okay, I'll upgrade. I might have to do a house call. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. You. yeah. Um, but they make these great velvety hangers that actually hug your clothes, and they won't create those dimples in your shoulders, like if you're hanging sweaters or wraps or anything. Okay. And the biggest thing is two of these hangers is equivalent to one. So in theory, it's automatically doubling your closet space. I didn't even think about the, the yeah. I didn't even think about the hanger itself taking more space. Exactly, it does. So this oh. is a really easy upgrade. They're less than about a dollar a hanger and you can buy them in bundle packs. And Joan Crawford approved. Yeah, That's there right. you go. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, when you're going through your closet, remember... That, that joke is making its way through the audience. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So when you're going through your wardrobe, you yeah. want to eliminate anything that has holes, tears, that you wore in high school. Tears are in, though. Well, I'm People not going yeah, to yeah, make yeah. you get rid of your favorite jeans. I yeah. absolutely promise you. Or those pair of sweatpants. I do let you keep those. Thank you. But we want to make sure that we're putting them in the proper place. Next, you want to go through and make sure anything in your closet that doesn't belong. Um, such as? Such as? Golf clubs, photo <laughs> albums, skeletons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gotta remove some of those, okay. So we wanna go through everything and, and then we wanna start to reload our closet. Okay. And I like to reload the closet from the top down. So hats, accessories will go farther on the top shelf. And then shirts, suit jackets will go in that mid or that first hanging space. Okay. Pants, leggings, on the that bottom makes sense. and then shoes on the bottom. Shoes you don't up. want to put your shoes on top because that dirt and grime is falling down on all your clothes. And when you take it all out, you said make sure clean it all up, like uh, dust it, vacuum it, make absolutely, it look pretty. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And Got then it. so boots. boots. Let's talk about boots. I love shoes. I love boots. So this is my inexpensive way to have your boots stay up nice and straight. Yeah, because I mean, uh, I can. This is how they're usually yeah, laying. Yeah, okay. normally they flop, and then you'll get the creases in them, and that's not good for your boots either. And you want your boot, you want to take care of your boots. Yeah, they're expensive. Right. So what you can do is you can buy an inexpensive pool noodle. Okay. Um, and right now they're on sale for about a dollar a piece. So you, if they're gonna go nuts they're after the go, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you want to do with your boot, you want to measure from the heel to about three inches down okay. from the top of the boot. So I'm going to have you cut. You're going to cut the pool noodle to fit your size of the boot. Well, <laughs> I'm going to back up. <laughs> Very easy. Woo! You shove it down in there, and then your boot will stand up straight. That's a great tip. Great yeah, tip. Yeah, yeah. And, and one pool noodle will last about, or 
go through two pairs of boots. Two pairs so of boots. 25 cents per boot, that, it's a great bargain. It'll save you money. I love this. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jar. You can find, you can find more tips on how to get organized on Jar's website, Jorganized. I love that site, <laughs> Jorganized.com. And if you missed any of these tips, don't worry. You know us. We'll post this whole segment on Facebook. Just search for Jason Show TV. Like us, won't you? And uh, look for this video a little bit later today. Coming up after the break, red, white, and delicious. Another one of our favorites is back.